Jai Gurudev. I just want to summarize saying, you know, the conventional agriculture, it has resulted in catastrophic decrease in soil fertility. There has been this illusion that fertility can always be restored by applying huge amounts of artificial fertilizers and then to the surprise it has been recognized that fertility is not merely a matter of plant food supply but it is also closely connected with soil stability. Now when a soil is exhausted because of these chemicals and it becomes unstable, so an exhausted soil becomes an unstable soil, then nature has no further use for it and the nature will not respond. So, usually under the normal conditions, a fraction of an inch of soil may become exhausted and then it takes about a century to remove it. Now, with the human control of these artificial values, then the entire depth of soil will become exhausted and become eroded in just a few years and this is what has happened now or, or what is rapidly happening across the world. About 10 million hectares of the world's arable land that is about almost close to 0.7 percent is lost every year through soil degradation and the world is losing something like 2 billion tons of topsoil per year and productivity of about one-third of the world's arable land has been severely impaired due to the accelerated erosion. Now this erosion has been a very big problem in India. We have so much of soil erosion just simply because we did not know how to utilize the Vedic agriculture, which we all knew but we have forgotten. Now. This coming back to the Vedic agriculture, this will improve the soil conditions, re-establish the stability and the nourishing life force for the balanced crops and for a healthy family, healthy family in the villages, generation after generation, they can live happily in the villages and bring back a healthy environment to our soil to our land, our Bhumata, our waters, which are our Ganga, our environment, and you know, so, and keep our children and our women healthy and happy generation after generation. Our cattle also need to be, our cattle, all our beings, trees, plants, everything needs to be healthy. Now let me touch a little bit on the, the nutritional context of, you know, the food itself. They have used this uh, crystallization process to understand how this neutral nutrition process can be understood. And uh, through this, or through these looking at this crystallization process, they found that organic food produces the fine, orderly, crystalline structure and they improve the health, the growth, the immune reaction and the vitality. Generally, the nutritional value is defined in just analyzing the chemical constituents like proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, etc and it is assumed that the nutritional or health value results from the measurable composition of substances only. They only looked at the material aspect and they overlooked what is called integrated wholeness 
the organizing intelligence that promotes the evolution of all life. So using this system, using the system of this biocrystallization, now what we are looking at is the holistic quality, the combination of the material substances and their organizing power or the intelligent that promotes all aspects of evolution. So we are looking not only at the quality of the food, but or not only just the nutritional value, but also the life-sustaining quality, and which some scientists are calling it as the vital quality, vital quality of the food. In essence, Maharshi has described this as Amrit, that means where there is this the finer quality of the food, it is much more than just, just uh, um, the vitamins and the minerals, but it is actually the nutrient value of the food, which, is, which we call the Amrit, and which gives the, uh, the bio quality or the sustenance of each cell It literally makes the food like Amrit. Amrit. Amrit in our, in our literature means, you know, it's something which gives the immortality, which gives enlightenment, which gives the consciousness. And this is what the Vedic organic agriculture brings. Now it's important to understand organic agriculture and Vedic organic agriculture. Organic agriculture simply removes the negativity, negativity of all those chemicals, of artificial things. And, uh, but the Vedic agriculture, organic agriculture, adds this element of these nutrients, adds this elements of intelligence, adds this element of the Amrit into the food. So let us come back to these Vedic technologies let us, you know, bring back the intelligence, the creative intelligence, the rapid evolution and enlightenment to all of our families. And uh, let us enjoy, life is to enjoy, so we create more time. We create more time for our own happiness, for our own enjoyment and for our own celebration, which is what the Vedic life is about. Jai Gurudev, Jai Gurudev.